This is a video by Rich Bin. Today we're working on a Ford F-150. This happens to be a 2000 model. And what we're doing today is we are removing the dash cluster. First thing we need to do is disconnect the negative battery cable from the battery. Then what we want to do is we want to chalk the wheels so the vehicle doesn't roll because what we're going to do is we're going to turn the key on and move the shift lever all the way down into the low position just like that. Now once we do that we want to take out this filler panel right here. We just grab it, pop it like that and then remove it. That's all there is to that panel. Next we need to take out the headlight switch. Now on this 2000 and above there is a little slot right on the bottom where you'll put a flat bladed screwdriver in. Lift up on it. Now if it binds just like this, like some of them will, look right above the dimmer switch right here in this area and there will be a clip. I'm using a very small screwdriver. Get in there, push down the clip like that, and then we can remove our switch. See she hangs up a little bit on this one right here sometimes. So once we have our switch out here we can remove our electrical connectors. Okay, she's all out. See that little indentation right there on the bottom? Where you put your screwdriver. Okay. Next we need to remove this bezel around the cluster right here. Now we have one 7 millimeter screw here, one here, and we got one up there, here, over here, and then if we come down here, right there, remove that one and the reason we took out the headlight switch was because they hid one right in there so we need to remove those seven millimeter headed screws right now all right the screws are all out of that bezel so we want to take our steering wheel and Tilt it all the way down. Now over here on the left, just grab a hole of the bezel. Just pull it out. Work from the left to the right. And there it is. It's all out. Next thing we need to do is remove this seven millimeter screw on the cluster, this one right there, and on the other side we'll see a duplicate set of screws, one right there, and one right there. And we need to remove those now. Now all four screws are out, so we can tip the cluster up a little bit and partially remove it to get at our electrical connector on the back. Just like that. Now once we got the cluster out like this, we can remove the gear selector piece right here. See these little tabs on the bottom? Just like that, they just pop right out. And now she's out of the way. 
The next thing we need to do is to remove this electrical connector. There are two of them. This is the one that would be facing the left side of it. And there's that one. And here is the electrical connector on the right side. Same lock configuration there. Press down that and then you remove it. And now our cluster is all out. Here she be. Now you can get at all your bulbs if you need to. Okay, so that's all there is to removing a instrument cluster on your Ford F-150.